In Amazon API Gateway REST APIs, the Invoke URI is the full URL required to invoke a desired endpoint and is comprised of multiple parts. The first part is the protocol, which is always HTTPS. This ensures the communication between the client and the API is encrypted. AWS maintains a default SSL cert for all API Gateway generated domains. The second part of the Invoke URL is the unique ID of the API. This ID can be found in the API Gateway console. The unique ID is followed by the static text Execute API, and then the region the API is located in. Regardless if the API is regional or edge-based, the instance will always have a home region. If the API is edge-based, API Gateway will manage edge-based access to the regional endpoint. The region is followed by the static domain value of AmazonAWS.com. This domain is the apex domain for all API Gateway hosted APIs. The next part of the Invoke URI is the API Gateway stage. While this value is not part of the domain and is actually part of the path, it is considered part of the base URL and required for API Gateway to route the request to the proper stage. Stages in API Gateway allow for different versions of the same API. The segments discussed thus far make up what is called the base URL. The base URL for each stage can be found on the API Gateway console under Stages. Each stage will have a unique URL. The final part of the Invoke URL is the path. The path is everything that appears after the base URL. The path can be as simple as a single forward slash, known as the root, or it can be complex with many segments of static and dynamic values. I discuss the segments of the path and how API Gateway evaluates the incoming requests for routing in a separate video.